And then now I will place a few other details like uh, partition walls and so on. And that just as you mentioned, now we work with default styles, but you can create your own style. I will work with this uh, 30 wide wall. I create this partition wall here, which is actually a load bearing wall. I actually create another wall, which is this one here. Let's say I would like to create something that appears uh, at a certain distance, but if I would like to extend this drawing, I, I actually forgot something. Uh, there is this tool you can, which you, you can use to add inserts or, 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 or add-ons to this uh, layout. And actually on my drawing there is a detail which is uh, with a width of 1.8 and a depth of 1 meter. I can change this and when I say OK, I can place it uh, over the wall. See, now it's important that when you Hold your mouse at a point where it's just it, it is just making no sense uh, to place uh, this shape because it's not in a wall. Then you will see this exclamation mark. Just just don't worry. That means that you cannot mm -hmm. do that here. But if you move your mouse over the wall, then you can just move it somewhere. And again, here you can use the F5 key to cycle through the top point, the center point, and the bottom point, as you can see here. So now I know that this distance is 2.3. I type it, and now I have that. Now it's actually a great guideline. I will have a, a staircase here, so now I can use it to create a partition wall, uh, and I just create it here, and I will also create a partition wall here. And now again, I need to cycle yes, through you need to push these. Push it to the other side, and yeah, and not to the center, in the, in the middle. but to the yeah, but to, to to this one. And again, I just keep my mouse here a little bit. And then I click here and I move the mouse here and I either again I type the distance or I just literally uh, graphically uh, draw uh, the walls themselves. Now if I would like to create a few partition walls here I can either do it like this here I'm, and I'm actually sketching the, 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 the layout itself or I can just say that well okay this is something well but let me just show you something I forgot to mention that you can also lock the direction. So now I, I move my mouse to the right hand side and if I just hold the shift key and then I move the mouse a little bit, see now uh, the direction is locked. It's, yes. it's similar to what you mentioned at the beginning but this way you don't have to uh, you know move your mouse first there and then then use it. You, you can just simply hold this down and then you can just refer to a yes, point that exists somewhere else. Horizontally and vertically as well. Yes that's right. So why I cre created this so quickly is that I know the distance between these two walls. There is a, there is a uh, wall distance from here to here which is 2.35 on my drawing. So I just click here and I type 2.35. And so what uh, happens here is that you select one wall first, uh, hit control and select the other wall and yes. then, you, then you are able to get access to this, this vector where you can add in the distance between the two.